Welcome to another week of A Friendly Nudge. So this week we're making broccoli salad. And if you're not really excited about broccoli salad, give this one a chance because this may work for you. So we've got about a, a head of broccoli and cut it into like smaller pieces. We've got mayonnaise, uh, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, some Dijon mustard, some red onions, some cranberries. There's the broccoli. And then we're going to put this topping on it that is pumpkin seeds, almonds, tamari or soy sauce, um, maple syrup, and a little bit of smoked paprika. And yeah, I heard Eddie Wilson a long time ago said that he wanted to serve vegetables that you could drink beer with. And I think this one probably qualifies. So first thing I'm going to do is salt a, a pot of water and I'm just going to blanch the, the broccoli crowns just for a, just a few minutes, or the florets, excuse me. I, I mean, I'm not even a few minutes, it's more like maybe a minute, just to where they kind of turn green, so they don't have that kind of raw taste to them. So, I, and then we hit them in a uh, uh, ice bath. So I'm gonna make the topping, it's just, you know, a, a couple of good gloves of tamari, and then we're gonna put just a little bit of maple syrup in. Yeah, you know, maybe it's a teaspoon, I don't know, just a little glug. And then I'm gonna put what's probably about a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then we're just gonna get that kind of stirred in and then we're gonna add, I think that's about a third of a cup of almonds and about a third of a cup of pumpkin seeds. We're gonna stir that up real well we're going to put it on a baking sheet uh, with some parchment paper and put it in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Kind of while we're, everything else is going together, this will cook and then it'll be ready to, to go on the, the, the uh, broccoli salad. So just get it, you know, kind of spread out. And, you know, I, I kind of went, went heavy with the sauce, but uh, I, I don't think that's going to be a problem. So we're, we've got the, the broccoli out of the ice bath and I just want to put it on some towels to kind of dry it off because I don't want to throw a bunch of uh, water into the salad. So we're going to just blot it. We'll let this hang out here for just a second while we get everything else ready. So I'm going to put the, the chopped onions. That's about a third of a cup of chopped onions. Uh, that is about three tablespoons kind of ballpark of uh, olive oil. Uh, that's a probably kind of three, kind of some of the heaping tablespoons of um, mayonnaise. We'll get that all in there well. And then that is about two teaspoons of uh, uh, Dijon mustard. And that's about a tablespoon and a half of uh, apple cider vinegar. And then those are the dried cranberries. We're just gonna get that all mixed up well and then we will add, oh, and we're gonna put, this is probably a, a little over a teaspoon, uh, about a teaspoon of maple syrup. And now we're gonna add a big pinch of salt and get everything stirred up. And once we stir it up, then we'll add the broccoli to it. So this thing is really simple to do. And like I said, I think, you know, this can turn somebody that is like not really a big fan. <laughs> this probably has enough other stuff going on that, that uh, they might be able to, uh, you know, overcome their uh, neutrality or dislike of uh, broccoli. Uh, yeah, because it's been one that we actually were kind of surprised at how much we enjoyed it. And then especially when you put the topping on it. Uh, now, I, one of the things I realized is that this stuff is now sticky as hell because of the uh, the, the maple syrup, and I mean it kind of got welded to that spatula. But uh, yeah, we we persevered, and plus that uh, sheet tray is not one you want to grab with your bare hand. So I'm gonna have to use a, a spoon, and yeah, it took me quite a while to clean this thing off later. But yeah, it, it, it got at least enough of it in there. But you can see it's like stuck to there like it's epoxied on. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get it all nice and mixed up. And then of course we gotta find the right bite. Uh, and I 
think we're there. Yep. And you know, this is not going to come as a surprise. It tastes wonderful. Have a wonderful week and play with your food.